making this video because uh, I had a few people wanted uh, to learn how to set up a bot. Um, you know, I'll show you this real quick. The easiest way I found to find it was to go to yahoo.com and search uh, BTBS download. It'll pop up second link right here. Just click that. <coughs> Scroll down here a little bit. This uh, red right here, the BTBS download. Computer to catch up. There we go. See, I just click that. That'll download the uh, the actual file, the actual program, I should say. Um, you might get an error. If so, install the NetFrame 2.0 and 3.5. Make sure you install the 2.05 or the 2.0 first, then the 3.5. Uh, scroll down here a little bit. Uh, if you have multiple CD keys, you're gonna want to download the Serbi CD key changer right there. Uh, when you first download it, it's gonna be compressed. I downloaded it to a file, uh, saved it right there on my desktop, nice and easy to find so it don't get lost. You, know, you don't want to start over. Um, it's compressed so you're going to have to right click on it. Uh, if you don't have WinRAR, you're going to have to go to Extract All and it'll start up a wizard, click Next, Next, whatever. Um, if you do have WinRAR like me, just click Extract here. I mean, pause this when it's extracting. So I'll just back up here in a second. Alright, once it's done extracting, it's going to open up a folder right here. Just open that up. You're looking for this OOG right here run that. When you first turn it on, it's going to pop up this little box right here. It's going to ask you if you want to update. Make sure you click yeah. Do always update it when it needs when it. All right, after it's updated, it's going to close itself, open up a new one. This little button here is going to pop up say update the scripts. Yes, update the scripts. Um, pull the bottom down so you can see there's a few more options down here. Uh, just wait in line, timeout seconds. Make sure there's you know some number there uh, for the realm down delay. Yeah, add a uh, five minutes or something there. If you got more than C more than one CD key, whatever you named your CD key file with uh, the Serbis CD key maker changer, whatever. Uh, let's say I named it CD key one. C uh, I'll put in CD key one dot mpq and then semicolon. You know if I have more than one. Well, the semicolon's only needed if you have more than one. If you have more than one, put a semicolon. CD key two dot mpq. You know, just like that for all the CD keys that you have. Uh, you can uncheck this if you don't want them to fill the game description. You can uncheck this if you don't want it to show the BTBS splash screen that you'll see when you first turn it on. <coughs> when you first run it, it'll have this new profile right here. Make sure that's clicked and click edit. Uh, right here, it's the profile name, name it whatever. I name it my character slash mf. I know he's a, I know which character, and I know he's an mf. -er. Uh, you got your script pass right here, yam or mp. I prefer yam, but for this, I'm going to use mp. Um, name uh, or this box right here with the b2p b b2 path. Click the question mark. It's going to bring up another window here. You got to put in the path for your uh, your uh, Diablo 2. Um, First thing you gotta click is my computer. <coughs> It'll pull up some more stuff. Uh, look for whichever one has the the C in it right there. I know my cursor is a black box, kind of gets in the way. Uh, look for the C. Yours will probably say local disk C. Uh, click that. Uh, don't don't click the disk. Uh, then click program files. Scroll down. Find Diablo 2. Click OK. In that box, it's gonna add C program files Diablo 2. If you have more than one CD key, check B2 Multi. It's going to name the window, whatever your profile name is. You can put in, you know, however many runs you want to make per CD key right here. Um, once it, in this case, once it hits 10 games, it's going to log out and log back in with a different CD key. Right here is your uh, different modes you can run in. Join from your friends list. Join from chat. Follow this profile. You know, you could have more than one profile running at a time. It's pretty cool. Uh, your channel. Let's say your OP uh, account, so you can be a tough guy with a hammer. Uh, games per hour, if you're doing a lot of MF runs, you won't need to put anything there. If you're in a game for a really long time, that is. But if you're doing quick public runs, you probably want to set a max there. You know, whatever number you want. Um, the delay per second is after he's done with the run, he's going to leave, leave the game. <coughs> if you have, let's say, 15 seconds set there, he's going to he's gonna sit there and wait 15 seconds before he creates another game. If you're doing a lot long MF runs, you won't need anything there. You just leave that blank. But if you're doing quick public runs, you probably want to put something there. Your game name, name it whatever. You know, let's say character MF dash. It'll automatically add the one, the two, the three, the four. You don't need to add a number. The private run, you know, password one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Difficulty normal, nightmare hell. Uh, 
check whatever. For your account login, you put your account name here, your password here, and pick the slot that the character is in. Uh, I prefer this login though right here. You know, it'll be blank, there's nothing there. Click edit login profile, name it whatever. Character name will probably be the best thing to put there. Your mode, probably battle net, although I don't see why you'd be bot and on single player. Um, select your realm, uh, your character name exactly as it is. If it has a cap capital letter in it, make sure the cap is there. Case sensitive. Don't put the slayer or the patriarch or anything like that there. Username, that would be your account name. Uh, password, your account password. Once you're done, click OK. It'll still be blank here. Click the arrow, click the name, and then you're good to go. Right here, the inner chat message, that would be like the dot login. You probably won't need that. Uh, the pre made game message would be, you know, like, uh, let's see, the making cash B slash slash cash P. He would, uh, be right before he made the game, he would say making game slash slash password. The cash D will be replaced with the game name that you have set here. The cash P will be put replaced with the password you have set here. Or you could just leave it game and not tell everybody the password, whatever. But right here, you put the maximum amount of time that you want him to be in a game. If you set it too low, he'll quit in the middle of the run. Um, if you don't set it though and he gets an error, he could end up sitting in there all night. I had one time he sat in there for nine hours, so it's a good idea to set something there. Once you're done, click update profile. Make sure you always click update profile after you change something. Um, I think that pretty much covers this. Uh, go ahead and close that. <coughs> now you're looking for this uh, d2bs.ini. Yours probably won't show the ini. It's a configuration settings. Double click that. Um, you got this right here, max game time. I'm assuming this one applies to all the profiles, even though the profiles could have a different number. This quit on hostile, you know, false to not quit, true to quit, put whatever you want. Um, game ready timeout. I set that to 10 because every time they get, every now and then I would get this error, error 206, I think it was, and it said game not ready. You know, just increase the time here and you won't have that problem. Uh, this right here, this disable cache, make sure you remove that semicolon, that's a must do. And uh, once you're done, save it, make sure you save it, always save your changes. And I think you're done here. This is pretty much, that's pretty much it for this setup, I think so. Uh, next, I'll show you how to set up these NT scripts and then the YAM scripts. The NT is pretty easy, a lot of it's an in-game setup. So uh, yeah, let me get started on that, shut this off and work on the other one.